Hey, Rie. Hi, Andrew. Welcome, everyone, to this Worth It Japan Marathon. So, this marathon is all of our Wase episode we shot in Japan. And we are sharing our commentary between each episode. Rie and I have a new video coming out this Saturday where we interview Chef Moto Kichi from the Worth It Egg episode. And I try to recreate the ox tongue stew that we also ate in that episode. But in the meantime, we thought we'd reminisce on our travels and share some more of the details of what it was like to film Worth It in Japan. Okay, so the first video is from our 2017 trip. It's the ramen episode. And it's the first thing that we filmed after arriving in Japan. It was very hot and we were all very tired, but that ended up playing into sort of the plot of the video. Cured our jet lag. And the, the shop was so small that most of us had to stay outside with the equipment while we were filming inside. We were actually filming the kitchen through a window out on the street. Okay, so here's the ramen episode. Please enjoy. Worth it! Here we are for the last three episodes of season three. We're here doing Worth It Japan. We've brought our friend, colleague, cultural guide, translator, tasty producer, Rie McClenny. Hi. Three foods, three parts. Ramen. Coffee. Cake. There's gonna be trains, vending machines, walking, other B-roll, eating things that aren't in episodes, sweating, <laughs> dancing. Sweating. This is it, right? Like, we've peaked with Worth It. Well, we didn't get to do sushi here. We can't wait to come back. We're already planning our second trip to Japan, <laughs> and we have not start our first one. I love it. Let's go. Ramen. 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 Ta! <laughs> Today, we're gonna try three ramens at three drastically different price points to find out which ramen is the most worth it at its price. Worth it. Probably the most requested episode ever. Buckle up, we're doing ramen. I think this is going to be an experience to ramenber. Okay. <laughs> オーナーの高橋克也と言います。お店の名前はリンリンと言います。今日食べていただくのはラーメンで三百三十円です。That's so cheap. How is that possible? 材料屋さんにお願いしたりだとか、まあ簡単に言うと元々の設定が低かった。How much do you eat ramen? 毎日お休みの日は違うとこ行って食べてます。1日1回麺に加えないとなんか変だなみたいな。あっさりラーメンなので、お年寄りから小さいお子さんまで安心して食べられる。最初は麺をザルに入れて、あの、1分半ほど
Oh my god. Is that a high five? <laughs> so many things happening in your mouth. Yeah, it's seared on one side and completely soft on another. Oh. Mm. It goes right in the mouth. It's very delicious. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, so quiet. Rin oh. Rin for the win win. I don't know what I was expecting for 300 yen, but that was like top bowl of ramen I've had. What can you get 300 yen? I mean, like $3 in the state. A taco. Get ready for ramen fact? One, two, three. Ramen, ramen fact. Oh. Ramen fact. It's a way, but you have to yeah. do it. Do it I don't have to do it. Japan is now home to at least 30 different types of regional ramen varieties. You'd have to invest some serious time to experience every ramen. Hey, judge my body roll. I took dance classes. 2.8 out of 10. Japanese soba noodle, Tsutano Onishi. This is the first one. Tsutano Daihyo Sabi, the Shoyu Soba. So many ramen places in Japan. How did you want to differentiate from other places? The Torif, or the Soita, Yono Shokuzai, or the Soyo Jiyuna Hasso, the Yeta, 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 the に、え、鶏ホイルと、鶏油と、え、醤油だれ入れて、え、準備しておきます。それである程度小鍋の方でスープが温まり出したら、え、約140g の、え、うちの国産小麦で作った自家製麺の麺を茹で始めます。ある程度いい温度になってきたら、え、スープを丼の方に入れて茹で上げて麺を投入してから具材の盛り付けになりますね。具材の盛り付けはスペインのイベリ
っていうメニューですうちはあの基本的にこういう食べ方ってのはほとんどないと思うんです僕はすごい食べ歩きが好きでいわゆる星付きのレストランだったりとか予約の取れないお店っていうのに肩肘を張っちゃうんですよねどうしてもで終わって帰る時にちょっと疲れたからラーメン食べて帰ろうよって非常になりやすいだったら最初から食事を楽しみながらいわゆるメインでラーメンが出るお店があっても面白いんじゃないかなって乾杯まず前菜が、えー、よだれ鶏の山椒香るよだれ鶏のサラダ自体です This is one of my favorite dishes In Chinese, it's saliva chicken because it makes you salivate I like that Yeah いただきますいただきます Tender. This counts as chicken salad. I've been eating some bad chicken salad my whole life. もう一つがイクラとクラゲのラーメンパフェ。一番下にクラゲ、そして生海苔と生クリーム。で、上に揚げたラーメンが来て、一番上がイクラの自家製醤油漬けですね。で、見た目非常にいいんですけど、食べづらいです。で、これを上手にスプーンをすくって、まあ混ぜて食べるっていうのがテーマなんですよね。How? Sorry. This is like playing operation. I do appreciate a course that makes you not eat quickly. Oh, that was so good. It's like little water balloons of tasty fish. Oh, sh it gets better the deeper you go. Mmm. <laughs> You're splashing all over. I know. I'm you sorry. got juice on my personalized menu. I'm sorry. Now, this is actually something I was extremely excited for. I thought I would have to actually go to Spain to experience this for the first time. Try it. Oh, God. Ah! Like that? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. yeah. I'm dialed in. How do you say wow in Japanese? Sugoi. Sugoi! <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. It has like the flavor of bacon, but the texture of steak. Mm. Are you appetized? Mm hmm. Shabu shabu. Uchi desu. Oh, yeah. Wafu dashi to jikase no o shoyu ga haitte masu nde. Kore o soup to shite mazu o nomi kudasai. Very good. The onik ga iberiko buta bejo to 100% no kata rose to ato. タンですえお出汁の中につけて、まあ、ほぼレアの状態レアもしくはミディアムの状態で茹で上げてそれを食べるスタイルですねくるんと巻いて召し上がってください That's awesome. How many swipes should we do? Until it starts to curl, right? Three times. The tongue texture is kind of awesome. <laughs> I did think, is it gonna be weird for me to press something else's tongue against my own tongue? But no, I'm really into it. It's like I'm French kissing my food. Mm. Yes. Hot pot is every limb family Thanksgiving. I'm just gonna have a piece of the shoulder because it looks awesome. Shabu. Shabu. Right? Oh, that is nice. That is like a kiss. Rie? Yeah. I made one for you. Oh. Main is. えー、ラーメンになっております麺自体も僕が作ってるんですよね、えー、大体、えー、店内に来て1週間は熟成をさせてるようにしてるのでその熟成の間に透明感が増していく感じなんですよねこれはあのお出汁の味わいが一番、えー、分かりやすいいわゆる海の香りがする牛尾の香りがするラーメンっていうことで麺の茹で上げ時間は今現状で20秒ぐらいなんですけど盛り付けで、えー、白髪ネギと、えー、あとイベリコ豚の、えー、セクレトっていうえー、希少部位があるんですよね、はいえーまあ、少なすぎて秘密にしたかったってシークレットって意味なんですけどはい、はい、お待たせいたしました。Oh, they have an awesome texture. It has a lot of chew to it, but it's not the same as just like an al dente spaghetti noodle. No, it, it snaps really easily. I'm gonna try the pork. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's the chew. Oh, that's awesome. There's something about a bowl of ramen that has like a lot of momentum to it as a meal. It just continues to evolve as you eat more. This is like. 
a massage. When you're getting a massage, you're just like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no, oh, my no, God. no, no, I'm in the most humid place I've ever been, and all I want is more hot noodle soup. <laughs> so this polish, it's made out of the broth you did shabu shabu. So it's like four sako. Thank you. Mmm. Oh my God. Just when I thought the progression of comforting, hot, brothy things mm -hmm. couldn't get better, this is like the pinnacle. This is home. Guys, I'm so happy right now. I'm in a food coma. I'm like a food cobra. I've been struck with the ramen lightning. Also a snake bite. If I came back to Japan, Rin Rin would be the first place I would go to. Suta would be the place I couldn't leave without going to. So Tsuta is my worth it winner. My worth it winner. I want to say the 8500 yen prefix menu again, yay. I want to, but I will say my worth it winner goes to the 900 yen shoyu ramen at Suta. Was your worth it winner? I can go to Lin Lin, just like sit down in front of Gyoza Master and stay there for whole day. Adam, was your worth it winner? Rin Rin? Rie, did you know it was gonna be so hot? Yeah, I kind of forgot how hot it was and humid. Do you remember the last ramen place was a last minute location because the original location canceled us? Yeah, I think it was the day before we were supposed to film there. It's also funny, like we filmed a whole ramen episode, but still every time that we weren't filming and it was time to eat, I still wanted to get ramen. Okay, so next you are watching the coffee episode. Yes, the coffee episode. I remember when we were planning the trip and telling people what episodes we were gonna do in Japan, they were surprised by coffee. I mean, you know, it's not the first thing you think of, but Japan has amazing coffee. And it's yeah. also funny that two out of three locations we filmed at night for a coffee episode. <laughs> That's the thing, like I kind of noticed Japan, we have a lot of cafe open at night and they still serve coffee or tea. So if you, if you don't drink alcohol, that's, you know, perfect place to go with friends. But in the States, I feel like coffee shop close early. Yeah, I think it really lends to a very unique mood to the whole episode. All right, so here's the coffee episode. Worth it, Japan! Adam, Andrew, and I are taking on Tokyo. This is part two of a three-part Japan series. Today we're doing coffee. We brought our good friend, tasty producer, bodyguard, translator, Ria McClenny. Hi. It's really hot here. <laughs> and sweaty boy himself, Andrew Nikki. I don't know why I opened my mouth. Today on Worth It Japan, we're gonna be trying three coffees at three drastically different price points to find out which coffee is the most worth it at its price. Worth it. There's a very special coffee that we found that kind of, in some ways, motivated this trip that we're gonna get to a little bit later. And here we go. アイスコーヒーは、100円です。パイセン見ていただいて分かったと思うんですけど、とにかくあの、ま、クレイジーに追求してやってますんで、アイスコーヒーはラオスというものをま、メインで50%をブレンドしてます。それをメインにして、あと
I also love how there's a bunch of people here just like doing their own work. Studying, starting their own company. Dreamers. You don't know where you're going, but it all starts with a good cup of... Row. Jet lag solved, at least for a few hours. Row star. Row star. Row star. Coffee fat. What's up, Adam? The first coffee shop in Tokyo. Guess what year it was founded? 1887. Wait, you did not see my fact, did you? No, but I made an educated guess. That was amazing. What year is it? 1888. So we're going to Cobb Elementary School. Rie, can you give us a background? The barista used to be a teacher. What kind of teacher? Elementary school teacher. Yoshida Wataru desu. Shiritsu Coffee Shop School desu. I am a teacher to be called teacher. 僕がこの職業に就く前に小学校の教員を21年間やっていました。So is your coffee for elementary students? います。Huh? ちっちゃい子もいるし、あと僕が小学校時代に今日も来てたんですけど、その教えた子たちが大学生にスチューデントになって来てくれるっていうのがあります。とちょっと懐かしく思っていただけるように、これは日本の出席簿を持ちてメニューを作ってあります。今日のコーヒーはコーヒーが苦手な人も好きな人も満足して飲んでもらえる味を作りたくて作った僕のブレンドですと本当はいくつか豆があるので豆に合わせて引き目を変えていきますとちょっとフルーティーさとビターさがうまく出るようにでもあまり苦すぎないように僕は中挽きよりちょっと粗めぐらいの引き目でブレンドをこうグラインドしますブルーベリーみたいな香りがするというか甘い香りのするコーヒーにしたいなと思って作ってもらいました。ドリップが終わったら、はいえー、ポアオーバー用の特別なカップに入れて提供いたします。これでこう花がここに入って皆さんに楽しんでいただけるようにと香りを楽しんでいただける器を用意しているので、そこにこう攪拌してから入れるっていうになります。It really does smell like chocolate. Floral chocolate. It's like a chocolate of rose petals. I love. A handmade mug. I mean, the way they make this is by like going like this on clay, right? But it does also kind of mold to the hand very. Is this nicely. clay? Uh, could be. Cheers. Kanpai. Kanpai. Huh. Mmm. If this were a color, this is like pastel beige. Warm and hugging, but not aggressive. It's crazy how smooth this coffee is. It's almost like a coffee tea. Do you taste blueberries? A little bit. This is like an episode of Scooby Doo. There is this blueberry that pulls off a rubber mask, and it's like, oh my god, that coffee was a blueberry this whole time, and it just blew your mind berries. <laughs> I am starting to get the coffee jitters. You know what this coffee really it boils down to? Ha ha ha. Boil. Boil. Down. I don't think it technically boils, but don't you put boiling water over a coffee bean? It's actually below boiling. Just below boiling. Anyway, what were you gonna say? I don't even remember. <laughs> wow, this coffee's hitting me. This is great. Let's go party. Ah, uh. oh, blueberry. It's like, how did you get in here? Uh. <laughs> We had the first two locations in Tokyo, and now to find the most expensive coffee in Osaka. Ray told us to pick these up before we left. You see, it's bento box. A little lunch box. Ooh. Ray always picks the best stuff, as you would expect. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mm. This was my dessert. I shouldn't have eaten it first. Kogi <laughs> <laughs> Mamajishiki. Did you know that in the Kanagawa Prefecture, there's a Unison Hot Spring theme park? And there, you can take baths in real warm coffee. Why do they do it? Refresh yourself, and also it's good for your skin, apparently. So instead of drinking coffee in the morning, I could just steep myself in a bath of coffee. Yeah, pretty much. My name is Tanaka Kanji. My name is The Muse. I drink coffee from the beginning. 熟成氷温コーヒー二十二年ものっていう。Why did you barrel age coffee? 私そこでスパルタンという名前でね、作って置いてたんです。でそれをずっと冷蔵庫の中で保存してたんです。出し忘れてあの半年ぐらい冷蔵庫の奥にあったんです。でそれはもうお客さんに飲ませてはお腹壊されたらあかんからもう捨てようみたいなんです。
、捨てるのもったいないから、まあ、僕が飲んでもねお腹壊しても、まあ、死ぬことはないやつ<笑>飲んだらね全然痛んでなかった、うん、安いお酒を入れたらおいしなるいうの一つのブームで、うん、そういう家庭用の樽が売,あの売ってたんですよ、はい、その頃ブームでね、はい、これに入れてやったあのどないなるかな思って10年経った時にもうすぐ甘なった、はい、蜜みたいな、うん、プロセスはですねまずきまめがあのオールドビーンズ約20年寝かしたんですねでそれをあの焙煎してで今度それを細かく細引きですよでそれを私とかネルドリップですから寄ってくるのが約あの30分 What is so important about making it and doing it that slowly? ゆっくり落とす方が蒸らしとあの抽出が同時進行なんですやっぱり甘みやねそれと雑味が消えるその22年もの。コーヒーですね。そのコーヒーに限りね、私が集中しているあのオールドマイセン、それは世界に一つしかないんです。言葉のポエムは見るポエム。これはあのコーヒーの一番いいとこだけ取ったエキス。これは飲むポエム。We have a 100,000 yen cup of coffee right in front of us. I have a lot of emotions. I feel weird. What if I die? I also am excited though. Really, we started a coffee episode and we're ending up somewhere in a wine episode. Because、mm. this is like aged something you sip. We're here at night. Like, we're no longer doing this the way that coffee is normally consumed. Yeah, we went from coffee to coffee wine. Coffee wine. It's a new Pokemon. Coffee wine. So we have to take turns, obviously. We can't drink out of the cup at the same time. Is there a Japanese translation of rock, paper, scissors? Ah,、uh, yes. Jang Kem Pong. Jang Kem Pong. First, we smell. Holy schmoly. It really does smell like wine. I'm getting chocolate from it, too. This is the darkest liquid I've ever seen. Should we drink? Okay, yeah, we should drink. Really nervous. I'm super nervous, actually. Never tasted anything like this before. Is it actually good? Oh, yeah, it's very good. Oh, I want a second sip, but I'll let you have a sip first. You really amped this up for me. I'm scared to like lift it too high. It's gonna look, it's gonna look awkward. Oh, whoa. It's really good. It's like somebody took a chocolate taser and just like rammed it into my mouth. This tastes a lot like. A dessert wine. Instead of making chocolate milk, it's like you used wine instead of milk and you made chocolate wine. Should I be worried that this is like fermented? That this is alcoholic? Is this gonna make me drunk? Is it okay to drink a whole cup of this? Are you sure this is not alcoholic? Because I'm feeling pretty weird right now. Here's what I know this is absolutely worth trying. It's pretty yummy. I'm not gonna lie. Come on over, Adam and r i e Okay. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> coffee. Coffee. Steven's had a lot of coffee.、Uh, coffee. Coffee. Which coffee was the most worth its price for you guys? This one is actually really hard. There was my favorite one, Coffee Elementary School. The guy was so cool, great location, and possibly the best tasting cup of coffee I've ever had. The other two places are things that you can't really get anywhere else. My worth it winner was the pour over coffee from Coffee Elementary School. Might be my favorite worth it location ever. Yoon h e e That place, it's like when you shake the president's hand. The feeling of that shake. Will resonate with you for the next 24 hours. But I gotta say, Rose Star is where it's at. I'm changing my name to Starving Limb. Rie, who's your worth it winner? My worth it winner is Coffee Elementary School. It was like a great cup of coffee. Adam, who's your worth it winner? I knew you all, all you fancy kids were gonna say that. That's okay. Because Rose Star, you're always number one in my heart because you're at 100 yen. So next we have the cake episode. While not necessarily my favorite episode, it does contain one of my favorite locations ever filmed in Worth It, which was Theo Broma. The chef was very eccentric too. <laughs> He、yeah. showed up with cacao, like fake cacao. Yeah, a, a model of a cocoa bean. It was really the best cake I've ever had. I think. It was delicious. So here's our cake episode. 
cake. This is part three of a three-part series. The finale of the finale. We've brought along our friend Rie. We're currently in Osaka and we're gonna try three different cakes today. What's up, Rie? What's up? My Instagram name is that dessert snob. Dessert snob oh, is your Instagram wait. name? So is this the episode you're most excited for? Mm -hmm. I just love the three. Okay. <laughs> How do you say cake? Cakey. 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 It's like a noun and an adjective. Cakey, we're out. Today on Worth It, we're gonna try three cakes at three drastically different price points to find out which cake is the most worth it at its price. I found a cat. <laughs> worth it cat. Worth, worth it. it. Is the cheese tart what Pablo is known for? チーズタルトです。えっと、なったりだとかするんですけども、ジャムもえっと、熱すぎるものを塗ってしまうと垂れ流れてしまうので、表面塗っていきます。あとはもう自分が慣れていくうちにもう熱いのも我慢できるようになったり、重いのももう平気で持
大地に出てくるのは苦味と酸味なんです短時間で薄く焼き上げます生地ガナッシュ生地ガナッシュという感じでそこをそれで固まったらその枠を外してカットしてで上書きをしますこれも割とビターなものを作って流すんですけどもうちはツヤツヤ光るものではなくてちょっとマットなグラス味を流します光るものは大体甘いんですよね Is there something that we should be drinking with the cake? 一般的には、はいはい、<笑>ね、一般的にはシャンパンがいいです。で、もう一個は、えー、今の季節だったらうちがオリジナルで出してる、えー、カカオティーっていうのがあります。これホットダイストリフなんですね。それのミルクタイプがあります。Cheers. Oh, it's very good.、Mm. You have to try this. I've never tasted this flavor. Cocoa Pebbles cereal milk. Okay. Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. Who did it better? Andrew. What? Every time. First impression bar of gold. <sighs> this chocolate cake is nice. You know when something is just like so wrong that it's like so right that it's wrong? It's so. Which one is it? No, this is good.、It's... I think what you mean is like when you feel naughty about eating chocolate cake. Exactly. But that's like that sweet other chocolate cake. This has such a round flavor of chocolate. Because chocolate cake is what other chocolate cakes aspire to be. It's that A plus student. Who's also student body president, captain of the football team. Every component is playing an equal part in making it taste awesome. Usually you get bored and tired of cake because it's just like overpowering you with sweetness. Totally. I have no sweetness fatigue when eating this. Wow. I have a lot of like emotion in my mouth. It's just the best chocolate cake I've ever had, hands down. That was so good. I mean, a guy shows up with a model of a cocoa bean. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's pretty serious about chocolate. Cakey facto. Cakey facto. Cakey facto. Who said it better? Andrew. <sighs> you can't win. Baking was introduced to Japan in the 16th century by what country? England. Portuguese. Yes. Wow. How do you know that? I went to elementary school, junior high school, high school、ah. in Japan, and I learned stuff there. <laughs> <laughs> お名前は鈴木香織と申しますお店の名前はパティスリーさつきと申しますで本日のケーキはエクストラスーパーメロンショートケーキでございます So what is extra super about this cake? <笑>全てを変えてもっとそのスーパーショートケーキの上のケーキを作るというのはスーパーメロンショートケーキはメロンのメロンの厚さもちょっと違うんですけどそうですね基本的には糖度あのメロンの糖度甘さが14度以上のメロンをあの入れてもらってますので,であとはあの1本の苗とかこう苗なんかにいっぱいメロンになってるんじゃなくて絞り込んだメロンでうまみが全部あのいくようなメロンをそのまま出荷してもらっていますまずあのスポンジですねあのスポンジにはあの和三本の,あの砂糖を使ってましてあのグラニトじゃなくてあの和三本糖を使ったスポンジ生地を使ってましてでその生地の上にあのシロップを打つのもあの和三本のシロップを使っておりますのでそのシロップを生地に染み込ませてでそこの上にあのアーモンドシャンティーであとそのメロンをサンドしてそれをでそのサンドしたケーキの周りにあの同じアーモンドシャンティークリームシャンティーを全体的に塗っていきますでそれをきれいに塗ってカバーすることによって中の水分が抜けなくあの味が一層中に染み込むということができます。We're actually right here in Tasty Japan Studio. Because this is a two order cake. You can get this slice at the patisserie, but we wanted a whole cake. Bring it back here, enjoy cake with friends, because that's what cake's about. Adam and Andrew, are they my friends? Questionable. But what we do know is r i is my friend, Saki and you are my friends, and Matt is definitely my friend. So let's have cake! Extra super melon shortcake. Can we try our best Japanese version of that? Go for it. Extra super melon shortcake. Did I nail it? <laughs> <laughs> This is our final taste test of season three. It's kind of bittersweet, but mostly sweet. Bitter coffee, sweet cake. And go. Uh oh, oh no. I already messed up. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone sabotaged me. Woo! Mmm. <laughs> It's so, ooh! The melon is so 
so good. This is a crushable cake. What I've learned about cake in Japan is that for good cake, you gotta have great texture, great flavor. Sweetness is last. The melon also provides a very nice, subtle tartness. I didn't get why he was individually scooping like three or four pieces of melon on at the time. Put the bowl on there and you're done. What is up with that? If you just dump it, it doesn't look pretty. This is the difference between professional pastry chef and you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's so soft. <laughs> so juicy. Please give us cold one. <laughs> Whole cake? Whole cake. <laughs> First of all, Rie, thank you so much. You have been the best. Thank you. Which cake to you guys was the most worth at its price? The cheese tart from Pablo was honestly the most unique dessert of the three. It's an awesome tasting dessert and you could get it in any city in Japan. The chocolate cake at Fiabroma was my worth of winner. Possibly the best chocolate flavored thing I've ever eaten. It may kind of ruin me for other cakes. The melon cake. Was it the best cake I've ever had? Maybe. But. One slice of that cake can buy you one and a half whole cakes at Theo Broma. So, I mean, I gotta say, my worth of winner, chocolate cake at Theo Broma. I really like Patisserie Satsuki's melon shell cake, but I also have to go to Theo Broma. I couldn't stop eating its chocolate <laughs> cake. It was just different level. Adam, worth of winner? Theo Broma. This is a four choice chocolate. Four, we all picked it. <laughs> <laughs> Season three is over. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. What's that big poop over there? Season three, that's a wrap. Now I wanna eat cake. <laughs> also, I'll never get tired of hearing the word cake in Japan. Cakey. Cakey. And also <laughs> the last cake has the best name, I think, of any cake I've ever heard. Extra Super Melon Shoto Cake. So that place has, uh, they change food. Um, seasonary. So when we visited, melon was in season. And melon is very expensive in Japan. It comes in a wooden box. There are a lot of expensive fruits in Japan, so much so that it inspired a bonus video, which is the $1,000 grape episode. Oh, excuse me, $2,000 grape episode. So here's our grape one-stop episode. Welcome to a new episode of Worth It One Stop. It's a new show where we try foods that are uniquely worth it in their own worth it ways. Hey, this is Rie. Hi. Today we're gonna to be trying out some expensive grapes. How expensive? We were gonna buy $1,000 grapes, but we found out somebody actually bought them in the last 24 hours. So we can't get them anymore. That's crazy. Yeah. So it's worth it to somebody. What would you say are the main differences between American grapes and Japanese grapes? We don't eat the skin. What? We peel the skin and eat the fruit inside. Interesting. Oh. You know what else is in peak season right now? What's that? Cicadas. Oh my <laughs> gosh. You walk through a garden and they're just like, <laughs> Yeah, it's their garden. Okay, nature's beautiful. I'm not gonna be a hater going in. You don't have grape expectations? Ooh, nice. <laughs> that was right. actually a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rio. Wow, Whoa. I think, oh, is that an apple? Yeah. Oh, oh, look at the spots. This is my favorite thing. This mm. melon, the way that the stem is mm -hmm. perfectly straight like that. Rie, do you have like a favorite fruit? Peach. Ah. Yeah. It's like bigger, juicier. Those look like butts. And now here are the grapes. They're just like really big. Don't no touch. <laughs> Wait, I can't touch this? No. Oh. No touching. Can you tell us a little bit about the culture of fruits in Japan? Why are these grapes so expensive? This is not 
normal, right? Uh, <laughs> what makes it so expensive? So, hi, Kochira no premium no Ruby Roman and this Kiredomo, Ruby Roman no ano Kakaku, ano Kimeru, Kataga Naninka, no Irasar and this Kiredomo, Sono Katatacha, Mainit, Mainit, Ruby Roman, Omite, and Sijoni, and Demawar, Ruby Roman, no Nezuke, or Stere and this Kiredomo, Kepari Kochirawa, Mitty to Dakto Kato, Hitos of Hitos of Gazita, Sanju Gramajo, Sanju Gramajo, Arte Kototo, and no Katachiga, Kote Kire, and this name, Go Balan, Fudo no Balan. ガイズというところと、あとはどこから見ても本当に同じ色のムラがない綺麗なルビー色っていうところで、他とあの違ってこのような値段になってます。こちらのプレミアムのルビー色もなんですけれども、値段がなんと21万6000円。Boom. That is a present. It looks like an award too. It actually makes a lot of sense getting a gift of fruit for somebody. If I'm going to buy, you know, my girlfriend a gift and I get her flowers. They're beautiful, but she can't eat them. So you're never going to buy your girlfriend flowers again? <laughs> Only fruit? If, you know, yeah. No, that's not true. Sorry, no. 1,000 grams. This is a very nice box. Can I keep this box? Oh, yeah. The key component of giving a good gift is the package it comes in. Sure. It's like yeah. a joke. You can't just deliver the punchline. Right. You gotta get the setup. You can't just throw a grape at someone. You gotta bring it in a nice box. Throw the box at him. It's a nice wood smell to the box. Good feel. May the unboxing come you have a little... It's like buying an iPhone with the manual. It's like a yeah. certificate. And here's how you turn it on. How do you say grape? Budo. 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 Oh my god, they're so heavy. I like this bag. It's a breathable bag on the bottom. They're very firm, too. Size I have a baby. Too. Oh, Is yes. It heavy? It's not the size of a baby. Small baby. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Look at how perfectly lined up those grapes are. These are the grapes in video games. You jump up and eat, and they give you our new life. Let's eat. Whoa. Nature's Whoa. beauty. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta get a yeah. picture of this. But... It's me and my grapes. Can you peel this? Sure. Oh. 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 Whoa. Look at it. Just take off. Yeah. One, count. two, three, four, 32, 33, 34. 35 grapes. So each grape is $57. <laughs> the inside is so is special off? looking. Oh, it's dripping with juice. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Sugoi! Cheers. 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 Three, two, one. Holy crap! Like, without a doubt, okay, it is the best grape I've ever had. Can I have another $57 grape? It's crazy. It kind of tastes like plum flavor. That was crazy. This one looks especially plum. Oh yeah. 57 more dollars. It's a little disorienting. Inside. Putting a grape this big in your mouth. Yeah. I've never had a grapes with two bites. Right. But it's like three or four bites. The firmness is so pleasing too. Just like the structural integrity of the whole bunch. It's like I'm lucid dreaming eating fruit. This was really cool. I, it is very expensive. Mm -hmm. If I gave this to my girlfriend, she would probably cry from joy. Oh. <laughs> the $50 bite right there. <laughs> that was the juiciest one. The ones at the bottom are the juiciest. Oh. How's it? $2,000 yeah. for a bunch of grapes. <laughs> it makes me smile so much just thinking about it. So that concludes the first trip worth of content. A year later, we went back to Japan, brought extra help this time. So Annie came with us, helped produce some extra videos. So the first thing that we filmed was actually the last segment of a video that started in America. So that was our cookie episode. We had two locations in New York City, and then the last one in Tolpo was in Japan. So Entolpo requested that we not show them on camera. So, you know, we had to find a solution for how we were gonna film this segment and still tell the story and show the food. So Adam came up with this idea of interviewing them off camera, filming just close-ups of the beautiful cookie process. And then Adam actually wrote a VO telling the story and got Shane from uh, Unsolved and Watcher to do the narration. So here is the cookie segment. We made it. What a ride, huh? Today we're in Tokyo and we brought our very best friend, Rie McClenney. Hello. Andrew. 
found an amazing cookie, maybe one of the best in the world. So this is a very unique style of cookie. It's focused on the visuals, the artistry, and it's also extremely unique because we're not going to learn anything about the person who makes it. They would prefer that we just focus on the cookie itself without the influence of information about them. I can't wait, this is the very first on Worth It. I'm so excited. They're not even gonna let us know where they work, what they do, it could be a bat cave, it could be a fortress of solitude. Well, no interview, but we're gonna now cut to something. you look at these beautiful cookies. These are the work of Antolpo Icing Cookie, a custom cookie maker in Japan. So Andrew said, you're not gonna learn anything about the people behind these cookies. And that's true, we're not gonna get an on-camera interview, but we can let you in on a few cookie secrets. The cookie you're looking at now is about $90. It's a custom design, and it's based on a traditional Japanese motif. Shipping cookies obviously prevents them from getting too fancy with their designs, but luckily, since they're making a custom one for us here that's going to be devoured immediately, they had the chance to be a little more ornate with it. It takes this one person hours of painstakingly detailed work to make this cookie. Each little layer of frosting has to dry before they can apply another one. So yeah, that's where the $90 comes from. Sure, plenty of cookies are cute, but Antolpo strives to create elegant cookies. In their process of making iced cookies, Antolpo discovered you could use the icing to create three-dimensional designs, and the ultimate use of that technique is creating a bird with individual feathers, each with their own depth. Before we get to the main feature, we're going to have one of Untulpo's smaller offerings. I don't believe that there's a cookie in there. This looks like how <laughs> jewelry is sold. This reminds me of the packaging from Lego. I can't destroy this, Adam. Don't make me eat it. You eat it. No, we'll eat it. That's okay. okay. It's fine. It's just a cookie. I can't believe I just did that. Mmm. It's awesome. Yeah. It's not too sweet. I no. like that a lot. Can I finish this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you speaking in Japanese or English? <laughs> it tastes very nostalgic to me. Oh, really? It's like something my mom made. Why do you think that is? Cookie. <laughs> Every time I look at this, I smile. It's when I look crazy. at pictures of it, I smile. Look! Can we do head for scale real quick? Yeah. <laughs> It's not just impressive in this scale. Oh yeah. It's like a topographic map. Yeah. You can see the Rocky Mountain as it spills out into the Pacific. Death Valley down here by the legs. Yeah, look at that. Can you tell that we're just trying to avoid <laughs> eating this? Yeah. I don't want to do it. Where do you even start? Let's start with the feet. Three, two, one. I felt so bad doing that. I'm sorry. Cheers, Stephen. Oh, cheers. Mmm, very reminiscent of the shortbread. I like this one more than the last one because it's, it's, it's bigger. <laughs> oh God, now I want, I know. now I got the taste in my mouth. <laughs> I, yeah. I want to break <laughs> off more. You know how you're supposed to leave a cookie for Santa? Can you imagine <laughs> Christmas Eve at Antopo's house? Yeah. What would he do when he came down the chimney? He was like, this? I thought I had the little elves in my workshop. They've been out making cookies <laughs> for someone else. You right. wanna eat the tail section No. Now? Really? I wanna keep- I wanna <gasps> eat it. It's too thick. Oh. It's like a little angel's wing. You murder! This cookie is literally just four ingredients with icing. You have this elegant design with this very simple food, which is what makes it so great. Yeah, Rie agrees with me, which, which means I know I'm saying something right. What was that? I just want to feel the texture in my mouth. Oh, okay. It's so awesome. <laughs> yeah, it feels so nice. Oh. I love this cookie. Okay. Let's let Adam and Annie have some. <laughs> oh, it's, I can't do it. <laughs> and finally, Adam. 
Next up, what are we gonna see, Andrew? We're gonna see egg-shaped things, fish-shaped things, box-shaped things. What does that mean? You don't know. If you could Take just rhyme, house. you could be Dr. Seuss too. I would be Dr. Zeus, because that's how good I would be at rhyming at it. I actually still have that cookie. I have it somewhere in a drawer here. I never ate it. I still have it. Do you, should I bring it? This was literally in a desk next to my checkbook. <laughs> okay, so next we're in the first full episode during the 2018 trip, which is sushi. It was once again really hot. Again in the summertime. <laughs> we never learn. Which you see in the opening. We should definitely do some wintertime Japan content. Yeah. So here's the sushi episode. We're back. We're in Tokyo. We're worth it Japan part. Dois. Is dua two in any language? It's French. Un, deux, trois. <laughs> Wait, what is it? You combine two and three. You know how you know we're in Tokyo? The Tokyo Tower and the sound of cicadas. <laughs> you hear that? We had to bring along our friend, translator, tasty producer, lovely person all around, Rie McClenny. Hi. We're gonna be eating things that come on rice. In a shell. We may even put on some fancy clothing, which we've never done for a restaurant before. We're doing sushi. Let's go. How do you say let's go? Ikimashou. Ikimashou. Today I'm worth it. We're gonna be trying three excellent sushi places at three drastically different price points to find out which one is the most worth it at its price. And we made the mistake of coming in 95 degree heat. What's that? I'm super excited. The first place we're going to is a highly automated sushi restaurant called Kuro Sushi. We call it Kaiten Sushi. Kaiten is like spin. Sushi is brought out to you on a conveyor belt. I wish I could be conveyor belted to this restaurant right now. Give me a try? Yeah, conveyor belt me. All right. <laughs> Bye. It's like Yoshi. I am for somebody who's never been to a conveyor belt sushi before, can you explain how it works? あの、ま、お席に案内されると、ベルト状に流れてる商品は自由に取っていただけます。線路君というカプセルに入ってますんで、そのカプセルから取っていただいて、あの、ま、召し上がっていただきます。ベルト状に流れてないものは、あの、お
I touched it. Okay, we're at the baseball stadium. I like it. Yeah, get pwned. Oh, we won. Really? really? Yeah. No way. It's coming out. <laughs> Got some uh, stickers. So thank you for the meal. Gochiso sama deshita. Gochiso sama deshita. That was wonderful. Fun and cheap. Yeah, and very technologically advanced, mm -hmm. which I appreciate. So we're headed to our next sushi spot, but before we do that, we asked Rie for a suggestion on any desserts that would look fish-shaped. Here. Here we are, here we go. I love it, it's a beautiful stand. Konnichiwa. We are eating taiyaki, the fish-shaped pancake. What do you want? I want a red bean taiyaki. Okay. Annie wants matcha. You can have the matcha one, Annie. Oh, it's so cute. I got the red bean. It's a green tea. Hey! All right, we're gonna try this taiyaki now. Okay. I also have red bean. All right. Look, fish. Cheers. 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 Mm. Mm. Sushi mama jiski. In the 1980s, Norway had too much salmon. And so there was a guy who was tasked by the Norwegian government to sell some of it to Japan. He was able to strike a deal with a company called Nishi Ren and that catapulted salmon into the sushi market in Japan. We didn't have salmon sushi before that. That is a great international collab to bring a new all-star food into prominence. When you eat fish-shaped food, do you eat from the head or bottom? Head. 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 Where are we going next, Andrew? So next we're on our way to a place called Shun Sushi, is that right? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> and it comes recommended by one of our colleagues named uh, Hitomi, actually. Yeah, my work wanna... wife. Your work wife? Yeah, so this restaurant is neighborhood sushi joint. Somewhere you wanna go once in a while when you are craving sushi. Sushi chef knows you. Oh, that's what I want. Yeah. I want my sushi chef to know me. How do you get a work wife? You have a work wife. <laughs> Who? <laughs> I'm curious how long you've worked as a sushi chef. Today we're going to be ordering the omakase set. What is the choice of fish that you're going to be serving us? Maguro o tabeta atu ni kara aji no koi mono ni tsuna ga daitai nagare nan desu yo. Desu kara saisho tanpaku na mono ika desu to ka shiromi. De dandan aji no koi mono ma maguro desu to ka anago o tabeta ri suru koto ni dandan kou kuchi ga nare te ku yo daitai nagare o motte ku n desu kedo. Sono tochu tochu hitotsu hitotsu no toki ni gari o tabete to lezu kuchi nako sappari sake te morate. っていうのが大体普通のオーソドックスなまあポピュラーな食べ方だと思います。ただ、こう多分自分が思う中でこれが美味しいなっていう感じでお出ししたいなと思うんですけど、そんな感じでよろしければ。Yes, absolutely. So what are we coming first, Rie? Sake. Ah, yes. Kanpai. Kanpai. Do we shot this or no? We just. <laughs> Ooh, he's grating wasabi. You know what I love about sushi? You're seeing everything that goes into what your money is going to. So this is chutoro. Here we go, first bite. Eat it Eat it Cute. Pure and utter joy. You know, it's not like a piece of fish on top of some rice. It tastes like a single unit. Yeah. これで、うちの白身っていうのは大体朝までみんな生きてた白身なんですよ。ですんで今日もこれそうなんですけど、食べていただければわかるんですけど、身が締まってるのでもうプリプリしてるっていうか。いただきます。That's delicious. Instantly。日本のお寿司屋さんは、あの、ま、全部が全部ではないですけど、結構このシャリ、あの、ま、日本語で言うと人肌って言って、だいたい三十度ぐらいの。The best temp is body temp. 特に美味しいウニなんですよ。で、あの、絶品なんでこれは。ま、その甘いっていう感覚がちょっとどうかわかんないですけど。It's unbelievably sweet. Yeah. Kind of light. What, what did you do to the uni? It tastes like melon. 
、今ね、白イカっていうかですね、一応、お塩とレモンにしました。Mmm, the squid was exquisite in a word. It was squid word. <laughs> what, what do you think is the special elements about a sushi dinner like this, like us sitting here? We have a motto, a concept, and we have a lot of people who are going to be able to do it. We have a lot of people who are going to be able to do it. なんか家庭的な雰囲気っていうのをやっぱりそういうとこをみんな,なんか,なんか分けあいえとした感じで気軽に来れるそういうようなお寿司屋さんこの,この辺もこれでもう1匹みたいな感じなんでもう相当な数そうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそう Wow, look at it. It's a little bit of 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 a little bit I love it. It was very like, comfortable. Chef was very friendly and I loved the conversation. I realized today I want a sushi chef like I want a hairstylist. My hairstylist is the person I see probably more regularly than anybody else in my life. I want that for a sushi chef. Yeah. This is my yeah. sushi dance, I've decided. <laughs> what part is sushi? We're going to our final sushi spot. The place is called Kyobe. And from what I understand, we need to get a little bit fancy. Rie, mm -hmm. what's going on here? Everyone knows Kyobe. The chef from Shun knows. My dad's now. It's very <laughs> famous. Wow. All right, let's go get that Kyobe. Oh. The reason we're dressed up is because we're eating in a restaurant with a dress code. I cannot believe that we got such a prestigious sushi restaurant. In Tokyo. Let's do it. I'm Kyubei. 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 I'm で何かにつけまあ僕もクリントンさんにちょっとこうサービスをしたりとかだからここでは随分スピルバーグさんやったりこの前もオバマさんにやったりとかそういうことでいろんなやっぱり著名なお客さんがいたっていうことも事実ですけどまあそれそういう方ばっかりで成り立ってるわけじゃないんです。I I mean this has got to be one of the I don't even know how to talk. Let's just eat. One of the sorry, greatest sorry. opportunities we've had on this show. For yeah, sure. I'm a little nervous. あのやっぱりねあのうちもそうなんですけどいろんなお客さんいらっしゃると初めての方ってやっぱり緊張なさるんですよ。だからそれをいかにこう少なくするかっていう方法を我々はやるんですね。それが大きいっていうか。Wow. Big e h a l Hmm. Oh. No, no, more, more, more. More. Don't be afraid. Oh. And this is a top tool to grind. This is shark skin. Oh, wow. Wow. We touch here. Real shark skin? Mm -hmm. Oh. Arigatou gozaimasu. It's 100, it's okay. Too polite. <laughs> oh. I'll be less polite. Kanpai. Kanpai. Mangro is a lot of people who are in the world. They 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 are in まあ霜降りというところですね。よくお,お肉でよく霜降りっていうそこと同じような感じですね。うん。これは僕のこれは太陽ですね。So this is Thai snapper. Why does he tap it with a knife? 生のこういう食材っていうのは途中で食い切るっていうことは難しいんです。うん。うん。柔らかい。あの聞きました。ちょっと。聞いてます。こうフィルフィル。Oh, I make wasabi double than them. You're not strong enough, Andrew. I'm scared. <laughs> Don't feel. Hmm. Oh, I feel it now. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. これぐらいが美味しいんだね。わさびも名脇役。Just 
Oh wow, there's oh. green onion underneath. I'm so excited. What is this fish? This is a turbo. Oh, turbo? Turbo. Mm. turbo. And touch top the top the sushi, this side, this side. Oh. Yeah. Bottom oh. and the fish. Oh. Softy, softy. And okay. you, you have, yeah, okay. you can have, yeah. It's really amazing. Yeah. It's bringing it up. You try the next way uh, to pick up with your finger. Okay. okay. Some and the center finger. Are you going to eat that? <laughs> <laughs> he keeps those live shrimp in the same temperature as the seawater. Slightly warm rice with cold shrimp. So the soot is very delicious, right? Finger. So he's gonna give Annie the cooked shrimp. Oh. 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 Crispy noise of seaweed. That is incredible tasting. That was everything. Cold uni, the wasabi burn, the warm rice, the crunchy seaweed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everything is there. <laughs> I would have thought that that was like hundreds of years old. That style called the gunkan maki. Gunkan is a battleship. Oh, mm. yeah. Gunkan maki. I love that. Battleships. Because it kind of looks like battleship. That's yeah. my favorite. We should get some more sake. No. Would you like some, Adam? Adam's a sucker for good glasses. Adam took a sip of the sake and said, I just realized how all sake was supposed to taste for the first time. <laughs> yeah. I think he want to utilize all the ingredients. The real head to tail. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little shrimp chip. Tare, eel. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Oh. It's so beautiful. Oh wow, that was really new tasting for me because I've had a lot of sardines before but never like this baby taste. Yeah, I was expecting more of a fishier taste. で、昔は卵を食べるとその店の味がわかるということで <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. What a hospitality. Usually when I put on my suit, I have to go somewhere. I'm thinking, what is this night going to bring me? But I'm having a great... <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh! A baloney. <laughs> wow. I'm having a great time. I feel like I'm hanging out in somebody's basement, you know? Just playing video games. I feel like I stepped in something. Oh, yeah. I can never go back. The thing that was every piece kind of had like its own kick about it or its own character. Its own personality. Yeah. This is it. Have you a question? I do. I have one question. Why is sushi so great? The reality is that you can eat the sushi and eat the sushi. You can eat the sushi and eat the sushi. それを獲得するとそれに一番近いところにいるのは寿司だっていうその非常にあのそのものを食べるに加工するリスクが少ないわけですねだから美味しいんじゃないかなと思いますけどねもう、ありがとうございましたありがとうございましたいや、グラデー
Oh, I knew it. It's also not too expensive. You could spend a lot more at a restaurant. Yeah. I wanted Shun to be my winner because it was like my barber of sushi, but I do also have to go Kyube. He paid attention to every detail. Annie? Wow. Adam? Kyube. Wow. Kyube. That's it for uh, sushi. Quick shout out to Daiki, one of the from Tasty Japan, who helped us get into Kyube. We're still in Japan. We got one more episode here. It's Rie's favorite food. We're gonna be visiting a very special old friend next week on oh. Worth It. Okay, so next up is what I consider the best Worth It episode. The egg video in Japan. It's also a great thumbnail. Oh yeah, great thumbnail. <laughs> It shows a lot of variety that is not sort of the international famous food that Japan is known for. You know, like we did the sushi episode, but we also did an egg episode, which shows three perspectives that are really unique to Japan. We actually have a new video coming out with the chef from the second location, Chef Motokichi. I'm actually gonna be making the ox tongue stew. So yeah. you'll see that video on the channel soon, but here's the egg episode. How do you say egg in Japanese? Tamago. Tamago? Together? Tamago. Tamago. Mm -hmm. Tamago. 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 <laughs> All right. Today on Worth of Japan, we're going to be trying three delicious egg dishes at three drastically different price points to find out which egg is the most worth it at its price. We went to a local convenience store to get a bunch of egg snacks because I have a fact for you. Tamago mama jushiki. On average, Japanese people eat 320 eggs per year, making them the third highest consumers of eggs in the world. Wow. Do you What's know one and two? Wait, let me Can guess. You guess. China. You're close. Korea. No. India. No. Malaysia. <gasps> what? And Mexico. I'm so mad at myself. We have a delicious egg salad sandwich, single serving hard boiled egg. This egg salad sandwich, that is a pizza on top. And a sandwich that has two hard boiled egg halves in it. I got the best one. No, I did. You would get the pizza one. This is really good. First stop, we're going to the Tsukiji fish market. Let's go. Your mascot is one of the coolest I've ever seen. Can you tell me the story behind it? So the tamago. それ卵。卵とそれで、ベルトコンベアで焼いております。まあ、栄養面もいいし、日本人で卵もアレルギー以外の人はほとんど好きですよ。え、何回ぐらい巻くんですか。え、3、4回ですね。はい。はい。And do you eat the tamago yaki we're at the Tsukiji fish market and it's been a bucket list item for me for a long time. Did you think you'd be coming here to eat eggs? No, which is the crazy thing. You got a little souvenir while I wasn't looking. As soon as the interview cut, the owner pulled this out and just handed it to me. He's like, you, you're gonna want this. And I'm jealous yeah. now. But I shouldn't be because I'm about to eat this delicious omelet. This is the $1 slice that you can get. A delicate golden finish to it, like creme brulee. But the size of a Twinkie. Like butter. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I actually did not expect the flavor that came from this. The sweetness? Wow. Yeah, it's but the... still savory. It's almost like a soy honey glaze yeah. that you would get on a chicken wing. I think the best part of this egg for me is the texture. I'm chewing it with my tongue, right? Cause wow. I'm, so I can get maximum flavor. Almost burst a little bit. Yeah. Like caviar. It's very juicy. With the added sweetness, the touch of savoriness, this is very much like a little slice of cake. It, it would be fitting that eggs are such a large component of cake. This could be dessert, it could also be a meal. Mm -hmm. it's, so, it's so simple. Yeah. It's, so, si yeah, yeah. it's so simple. <laughs> I want to eat this whole thing. Itadakimasu. Good. 
Good thing you ate the rest of it right there. What do you think about their automation, their uh, system they have here? It's an assembly line, but everything right. is done by hand. Because they're churning out the omelets here, but everyone is made by an individual guy who's taken a lot of time to perfect it. Eggs, not just for babies and old people anymore. Like moss. So good. We are at the Sanrio store right now, and we're checking out one of the greatest animated characters of all time, Gudetama. Rie, what is Gudetama? Today it's like lazy, tired. Uh, Tama is from Tamago. Oh. Etymology. I'm ready to look at some Gudetama stuff. Oh, yes. In the airport with this thing? Look at that. Hey, look, Andrew. Gude caviar. Here we have Gudetama's butt. Gude but this Gudetama has a little bindle, like he was hitchhiking somewhere, and then he just gave up. Gudetama hamburger pen. Gudetama toothbrush. Gudetama lanyard for my ID at work. Get that. FBI, freeze. Please. Steven, look, look towards me. Tamago mamajiski. The shade of yellow or orange that an egg yolk has is dependent upon the chicken's diet. However, the color of the yolk does not say anything about the nutritious value of the egg. Interesting. Okay. Typically, Japanese egg yolk is very orange, like your t-shirt color. Oh, yeah. That's totally why I wore it today. <laughs> I want yellow, too. Just all left out. Ooh, popcorn. Good time of popcorn. Oh, oh, it's popping. Oh. This is a counter. Oh, wow. I thought it was supposed to be lazy. This is not lazy. Well, good at time it's the lazy one. We are not. Ten, nine. Hey. Oh, wow. Now we have a snack for the train because we're on our way to Kyoto to have a very special egg dish. What type of restaurant is this? で、まあ、洋食なので西洋の料理、それなんでまあ、コロッケとかハンバーグとか。で、まあ、オムライスということでね。日本で外国からこうね、入ってきたんですけれども、日本でそれがこう進化していって、日本独特のま、食べ物にな
This is the number one dish? Yeah. Omura is famous number one. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Tsukichi number one. Taste number one. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah, so we're taking a little detour from eggs because this is part of the process of making the demi glace. It's the same base, but uh, different ratio for beef stock. Okay. And it's simmered for 96 hours. So I'm gonna taste the sauce first. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Mmm. Holy crap. I need another one because that was too complicated to understand on the first bite. This is like unsweetened chocolate syrup style of bitterness. It's very delicious. Tongue is one of the most underrated meats. Can come off a little scary because it's the you tongue. Know, like... Yeah. Anything that's part of something's expression mm -hmm. is scary to eat. But it tastes good. Wow. That's wonderful. That is soft. Oh, so, so soft. soft. Adam actually loves tongue more than everybody on this show. Massive <laughs> boy. Wow. <laughs> Got a little taste of the demi glace, and now the main event. Oh. <laughs> Hey, 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 Full disclosure, I've been this before, it never gets old. No. Every time it puts a smile on your face. It's like Disneyland. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Not having to chew is a luxury. Here at the restaurant, they only have spoons available because that's all you're gonna need, uh -huh. right? The egg is almost like an icing for this rice, but the textures are still distinct and interact with each other very well, you know? Ooh. It's not just one creamy steak. Mm -hmm. The je ne sais quoi, the magic of this dish, it's really the happy vibes. Watching him make this dish, he's having fun. He's been making this for wow. 20 years. To do something over and over and over again and still have the same joy yeah. is incredible. And I get to be a part of that. What wow. is your secret? You have this amazing energy, this friendly disposition. Happy. It depends on the customer, but you guys are also very excited and he kind of absorbing your happiness. So that makes him happy. That's actually a very good lesson. How to be happy? You can't do it by yourself. Uh, your happiness, my happiness. Oh, no, your happiness is my yeah, happiness. Yeah. This was very delicious. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're here in Kyoto and I wanted to have a little sweet treat to round out the day. Rie recommended that we come up here. We are here in matcha house. I love this place. Matcha is my favorite flavor. Yeah. Me too. High five. Andrew, you are trying matcha tiramisu. And Steven, you are having parfait. Parfait is my favorite dessert. I already had two or three parfaits through my trip already. <laughs> if anybody looking for a parfait ambassador, they should choose me. Oh. Ooh. Look at how it. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> ooh. If only lava was so. <laughs> yeah, shut up and put the matcha in your mouth. Isn't it creamiest tiramisu you've ever had? Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> 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 All right, parfait, parfait. Parfait. The matcha is so oh, yeah. smooth here. Tamago mama jiki. In the Iwakadani Valley, or Great Boiling Valley, there's a certain egg delicacy known as kuro tamago, famous for their black exterior that develops from being boiled in volcanic water. Rie, have you ever heard of this? I just told Rie something about eggs in Japan. That's the beauty of the egg fact. Everybody learns something. Egg fact. <laughs> I'm ready to be your parfait apprentice. Yes. Can I be a uh, tirami... Tiramisu chef? Yeah, tiramisu chef, yeah. Okay. That does it on Kyoto. Off to Chichibu.
秩父市にありますあのアクアファーム秩父と申しまして、私あの代表の新井照久です。よろしくお願いいたします。お願いします。本日はあのうちで生産しております輝きという種類の卵をご紹介させていただきたいと思います。What makes this egg so special? 実はですね、この卵の最初のこれを作るきっかけっていうのはうちの子供なんです。あれ今高校生なんですけど、あの子が三歳ぐらいの時に。僕の卵を作ってっててて言った一言なんですよで自分の子供の卵を作るんであればこれは本当に日本一の卵を作らないとと思って必死で試行錯誤すること5年輝きっていう卵は私があの自撮りの掛け合わせで作った鳥なので各都道府県全部に自撮りっていますのでそれってやっぱり一番肉質がいい鳥っていうのを作ってるんですねそこで餌をうちでオリジナルで作る作ったものを与えて。味を向上させる卵に甘みあるってちょっとアメリカの方は分かんないかもしれないですけど味が濃厚なんですよ濃厚さがあってあ甘みがある And is the yolk color unique? 本来はとあの黄色いのが本来なんですトウモロコシの色ですからあの日本は色つけてるんですどうやってつけてるんですか唐辛子とパプリカと、wow, spicy. <笑><笑>唐辛子って味し,しないんですか<笑>人間食べたら辛いですけど鶏って味覚ないんですあじゃあ卵にはそれは反映されない反映されないです色だけですね生で食べられる方は生が一番やっぱしね美味しい Why is it that in Japan you can eat eggs raw? 国です日本国が厳しいんです月に一回全部ケース入ってます Which came first, the chicken or the egg? 多分、うん<笑>ニワトリが先なんじゃないですか間違ってた卵産んじゃったんでしょあれ<笑> That makes sense, yeah. We're now back in Tokyo The eggs took a little train ride with us So what are we going to be eating today, r e a It's called Tamago Kake Gohan. We call it TKG. Tamago is egg, Kake is over, Gohan is rice. Thank you, Saki, for the vocab. <laughs> Tamago Kake Gohan. Tamago Kake Gohan? We did a better r i e It's pretty, I think it's a tie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So look at this. This is like how a nice bottle of champagne、mm-hmm. usually comes. This egg. Name is Kagayaki. Kagayaki is like shine. His son's name is Hikaru, also same kanji character.、Mm. His son was like, When am I gonna get an egg? Yeah. He was like, All right. Pop it open. Let's get this TKG RTG. What does that mean? Ready to go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, you just crack egg on top of the rice, few drops of soy sauce, mix with it, and enjoy. My heart is racing because I don't want to mess this up. It's like when you take thousands of free throws. I've cracked thousands of eggs in my life preparing for this one moment. Cheers, Steven. Cheers. Nice. Wow. Look at that Whoa, yolk. Oh, it's so orange. The yolk is very impressive, but the white has so much structural integrity on its own. Look at that. Oh, jiggle、like、jiggle. A white doesn't normally look like this. No. Mmm. <laughs> It's right on top. <laughs> Come on, Rie. <laughs> Rie's a bully. I was. No. Oh. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Oh, the color is getting even richer. It、uh-huh. looks like I put ketchup on this rice. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. That's wow. So rich. It tastes like an egg based dessert. It's really good, Rie. Yeah. I really like the texture of it. It's not like a sauce. Right. It's kind of like a custard that easily mixes with your rice. Compliments to the chef, who is the chicken. <laughs> Adam, to like to show you how viscous this is. That's the word, viscous. It's like eating Tide Pods. Steven, no. <laughs> no. You know it's good because it has an abbreviation. I'm going to be saying this all the time. I need an abbreviation TKG. Yeah. Like MIB,、mm. NBA, CIA. BLT. Oh. Yeah. That's an actual food one. What I really like about TKG, it's like sushi. You have a Delicious ingredient over this palette of rice. It allows you to enjoy it the best you possibly can. Oh! Yeah! 
Which egg dish was the most worth it to you at its given price point? We'll start with Rie today. I have to say Kichi Kichi. His <gasps> omuraisu is amazing. My winner is also Kichi Kichi's wow. omuraisu. I saw that one coming. His omuraisu is so unique to himself. I think it's a dish that you could travel from the other side of the world for. Kichi Kichi omuraisu is my winner. Wow. That's a three-way Kichi Kichi <sighs> yeah. win winner fest. I mean, come on. Come on. Come on. Adam, worth it winner. That's four for Omuraisu. Annie, who's your worth it winner? We have one more special Japan location that's gonna sneak up on you in a very unexpected way. Gure Tama Nana. Oh, yes. We went yeah. to Gure Tama too. That was a highlight. Yeah, this episode has some of my favorite interstitial scenes too. How did we come up with that idea? You know, egg. Guretama, he is an egg. I was actually the most surprised that we got Sanrio to agree to let us film yes. at a Guretama store. <laughs> that was more surprising than even the sushi restaurant. I was like, wow, Guretama. Also the parfait, that was one of the most delicious parfait I ate during the trip. Oh, and I yeah. ate a lot of parfait during the trip too. And that nighttime walking in Kyoto was just... Oh, that was beautiful. Really like a scene out of a movie. Mm -hmm. So now you are watching sandwich segment from Japan. Yeah, the first two parts of the episode take place in two different cities. And then the climax is in Japan where we eat this incredible fried Wagyu sandwich. So here's the Japan segment of the sandwich episode. We're here to try a very special, very expensive sandwich. We have Rie, our cultural guide, translator, parfait ambassador to help us out. But before we get to the very special sandwich, we're going to learn a little bit more about sandwiches in Japan generally at a place called Yoshida Pan. Speaking of pan. <laughs> Mm. Wow. So this one is Napolitan. It's ketchup dressed pasta. Mm. Wow. Oh, I'm gonna get that one. I wanna try that. Annie, what do you want? Fruit. Excellent choice. Have you seen this kind of sandwich before? No. Hamukatsu, which is a deep fried ham. I'm gonna get a margarine because it's my favorite combo. Anko is sweet beans and buttery spread. Hi. 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 Bye bye, mom. Hi. Hey, check this out. This is probably the best packaging of a liquid I've ever seen in my entire life. Wow. It's like an abstract Capri Sun. <laughs> Why are you pointing at me? Milk tank. <laughs> this bun Ooh. is the most inviting food I've ever seen. Itadakimasu. Mmm. 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 How's the spaghetti, Steven? It's kind of confusing me. Like, I feel like I need a fork right now. It is actually good. Like, it is. It's an interesting texture. What? Sweet cream. All right. But now we're going to potentially one of the greatest sandwiches of all, which is going to be a 20,000 yen fried Wagyu cutlet sandwich. <laughs> え、私、店長の井上と申します。と和牛マフィアは、え、5年ほど前に和牛を世界に広めていくというプロジェクトで立ち上がったチームでございまして、え、本日召し上がっていただくのはこちらの神戸ビーフシャトーブリアンサンド
Brilliant. The brilliant home of really? the beef. You're, you're making this I'm up. I'm making this up, but. Chateau is a castle, Brian is a person's name. Oh. According to ah. the chef. Brian's castle. <laughs> it's Brian's castle. It's We're having some Japanese craft beer. I had a porter. Oh. Don't pour it on the sandwich. <laughs> Stay away. To season five, Steven. Kanpai. Kanpai. Wow. Yeah, that's tasty. I did not expect it to be so thick. It has to be thick, Steven. <laughs> it has to be thick. Okay. All right, let's go. Ready? Wow. That was so incredibly soft. Jeff was absolutely right. The bread is firmer than the beef. My mind wants to think it's an ordinary sandwich. And then when I bit into it, it's extraordinary. Yeah. Like Narnia. You know, the bread tells my tongue, it's lunchtime, let's eat this sandwich. Yeah. But then the beef tells my tongue, holy crap, what the, what is going yeah. on? <laughs> so the chef um, has some of the recommendation to enhance the flavor, I think. Okay. Oh, oh perfect. We did. <laughs> oh, okay. But do it with a little bit of zest. A little pizzazz. Yeah. yeah this, I can smell from this distance. The salt? No, like the truffle. It's truffle, right? Oh, it's truffle salt. Yes. Oh, I mean, I mean, this guy knows the way to my heart. Cheers. Every time I'm like, yeah, it's tender, no big deal. And then I put it in my mouth and I'm, oh, 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 oh. All right, I'm gonna finish this off. Yeah, I'm really delaying the end here. Cheers, Steven. Goodbye. Wow, that was a super good sandwich. Goodbye, Wow. It's like the texture of a fully toasted marshmallow. Did you have the pickle? Okay, so the next video is a single location worth it one stop. We had this custom made candy that featured Adam's face, which was just <laughs> the perfect thing. Yeah. This is actually a video that Annie produced and we went to Nagoya just for this location. Nagoya was a really cool city. We shot the opening to the video at this castle, but it was getting kind of late. So it ended up really interesting looking, but I mean, that's just kind of the way that filming works with traveling. And here's the candy one stop. Worth it, one stop. We're in Nagoya, Japan. And that is the Nagoya Castle. It's actually lit right now. And we're with my best friend, Rie Mitleni. Hi. I think, I think it works like this. She's your best friend, but I'm her best friend. Oh, that one hurt. And you're here with us because we're doing an awesome, spectacular episode on custom Japanese candy. We call it Kintaro Ame. Kintaro is Japanese folktale character. Traditionally, the candy has Kintaro face on it. The process is extremely satisfying. That's what, really what we're here for. Not too many spoilers, but we do have a very special design. We're not gonna give it away right now. That's right, you're not gonna see Kintaro on our candy. You're gonna see somebody else. Oh man, the wind is crazy. Also, there are crows cacaoing. What do they say in Japanese? Kaka. So we got some kaka and some whoosh, whoosh going on right now. <laughs> let's do it. All right, let's do it. We sent in our own design to make our special custom candy. Spoiler alert, the design is of our co-producer, Adam Bianchi. Was, we thought it would be a good design because there's lots of complications about his face. You know, you have this facial hair here, the glasses. So まず
で150度になった状態でこの冷却板というものに開けて、えー、冷ましながら香料味付けと、えー、酸味料を入れて、えー、そこから、えー、パーツごとに分けて着色をしていきますでそこからこちらに持ってきて、えー、それぞれですね、あのー、リーダー役がいる中でそれぞれにパーツを振り分けて最終的に、えー、リーダーの人が組み立てる。How is each part of Adam's face made? まずあの全体で言えることなんですけど似顔絵だったりキャラクター作る時に気をつけてるのがパーツのバランスですね目鼻口のバランスそれからえっ、ー、と,、えー、と笑ってる顔だったら口が曲がってるようにそういう部分をまず第一に気をつける部分で順番に行くと眼鏡の部分はこのまぶたの部分ですねが歪みやすいのでまずそこをきっちり作ること丸三角四角っていうパーツは作りやすいんですけどそれ以外のちょっとした円形楕円形っていうのはすごい作りづらいのでそういう部分は気をつけながら作りますヒゲの部分も、えー、そうですねこれも比較的大きいパーツになるので、えー、見てもらうと分かるんですけどこの2つに分ける形でしっかりと冷ましながら作る。So what are you doing to help make these shapes and keep everything even during the process? 気流が起こらないようにちょ風が当たるとやっぱり雨ってすぐ硬くなっちゃうのでその部分ですね。I noticed that. There's a lot of people working together on this. What's the importance of doing everything by hand? やっぱりあの機械で作るものより多少歪んだりそういうことはあると思うんですけどそれが出来上がった時のあ温かみじゃないんですけど手作りの良さっていうのがあるのかなと思ってるのでもちろん機械で一個一個ピシッとできるのも綺麗なんですけどそれじゃ味気がないそれですね。We got some candy. So, not only did we see the candy get made, we got to get our hands in the mix. Yeah. And we did not do a good job. We did probably the least challenging part. <laughs> yes. So, we just lived this moment, but、mm -hmm. I wanted to call your attention again. Oh, man. To, to that. It's weird because Adam is holding the camera and filming me show him this. It's, it's very hard. Like, this could be a murder weapon in Clue. And then it tapers off into this little tail end where you get <laughs> candy at them. Rie, what do you think about this? It's a very good Japanese、um, ghost called the Rokurokubi, which is a ghost that has a long neck and coming at you. <laughs> so it's, it's almost looked like that. Rokurokubi? Rokurokubi? Adam Adam Bianchi? <laughs> Like the level of sculpture happening here、mm -hmm. is really amazing. Let's、All、pull、right. out the candy. I'm gonna put this away because, like, please. It's too much to look at. We should bring out the ones that we made first, right? Sure.、So. Yeah. Just to be clear, we made 50 pounds of candy. About 3,500 pieces of Adam. I believe these are the ones that we made. <laughs> I just looked at this for the first time. This is like if you took Adam and put my hair on him. Yours are too thin, and then some of mine were too thick. So when it got in the rolling machine, the, the edge of it just sliced across his face. Look at that guy. It's, it looks like you're about to go into a time warp and you've like frozen and then your body starts swirling in space. Hey, some of them are pretty good though. If you pick one out at random, okay, it's gonna be awesome. Watch this. Watch t h i All right, you ready? Yeah, this, this isn't the 50 pounds. There's many boxes of this. Oh, man. So, because these ones are good to go, they're actually individually wrapped, which is great. Oh, yeah, he's much chunkier in the right sized one. He's got a much chubbier face, which I like. I think the word is、uh, chiseled. Look at that one. That's a good Adam. I mean, it really looks hand painted, right? With like a single hair paintbrush. All right, I'm gonna eat this now. Cheers. 
You chew it immediately? Oh, wait. <laughs> it's you? a hard candy, Steven. Mm. Great flavor. Mm -hmm. Peach milk. What I like about it is that it's also not insanely sweet, which mm -hmm. was what I was expecting when I saw the naked. No. <laughs> is it right side up? <laughs> ah, around me. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> the light outline around his ears is potentially the most impressive to me. The different portions of his face dissolve at different rates. Pretty soon you feel this texture of his face against your tongue. And I have like the little bumps of the outline of the, of the eyes. Yeah, I'm licking his eyes right now. You're making it really weird. Yeah, it was just surprising how good this candy turns out. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> the last thing I'll say about candy is that I still have bags of Adam candy <laughs> hanging around. I left the candy in my desk and I went back recently because, you know, like we are not working from office anymore. So like I had to bring some stuff from my desk and I found a bag of candy in my desk drawer. <laughs> it was all melted. Oh no. Okay, so the last video we'll be watching is another single location one stop. And this one is on bento boxes. For this video, we also traveled to a unique part of Japan just to film this segment. And that was Nikko. I think this was mm -hmm. one of my favorite places that we went, kind of like out of the major cities out into nature. There is a famous shrine and a temple. We started walking toward the to it, but get super dark and we found out it's like 30 or one hour hike from where we were staying. So we ended up um, stopping by this like super cute cafe and a shaved ice. We did see a really cool old fashioned train and <laughs> The supermarket that the bento box was sold from had all of this commemorative train stuff. And I remember getting a sake glass that had the exact train on it. All right, so here's the bento episode. Lecture day. Coordination. Today we're doing Worth It One Stop. The show where we go to one uniquely worth it place to try one uniquely worth it food. And today we go Nico. It's a little bit north of Japan, is that right? North of Tokyo. North of Tokyo, oh yeah, not north of Japan. That's north the of, ocean. Today, today we're gonna be eating foods in boxes. That's right, it's bento boxes. So today we're having a very special, a very unique, and a very pricey and ex exquisite bento box. In preparation of this video, we bought some eki ben, which are bentos you buy at the train station. And uh, we're gonna enjoy that on the way. Let's do it. I love train food. Let's go. Let's go. We're going up on a Thursday to eat this very special bento box. And what is a bento box, you ask? It's like the Japanese version of a lunchbox. You can buy a bento box at a train station, but different train stations throughout the country will have different bento boxes. I'm gonna get this one. Got this one, the big one. Yeah. The fancy one. Tofu and sushi. And it gives you the allergen information with these great little drawings. Oh. You wanna de-sleeve this? Yeah, de-sleeving. Really oh yes. All right. No real grudge. This one's got the pickled plum at the top. I've got the trifecta of cucumber, egg, and crab. Can I have one of your... No. Ah, that looks good. Ooh, it is good. Can I smell it? You didn't even eat it yet. You need to We've made it. Yes. We're at Nico Nico Honjin. Where are the bento boxes? Right there. Let's go. Let's go. Peaches. Peach, peach, peach. Melons, watermelon. Ooh, sake. Here we are. We've made it. 180,000 yen. <laughs> yeah, look at this fish illustration. That's got Adam written all over it. Rie, what can you tell me about this one here that comes with a shovel? It's a chirashi sushi. It's kind of type of sushi. Ooh, like Chanel. I got Wow. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> I didn't, Only about 10 pounds. I didn't expect it to be swaddled like this. Yeah, it's beautiful cloth. Let's go buy this. <laughs> We've got the gold. I am Nikko Masuzu Shonpo, the owner of Nikko Masuzu Shonpo.
本日はあのうちの日光埋蔵金弁当を召し上がっていただきます。So can you tell me how did you get into start making bento boxes? 食べ物が大好きで、28年前に日光でマス寿司を作りたいと思って始めたのがきっかけです。日光には中禅寺湖っていう大きな湖があるんです。そこにマスがたくさんいて、マスが有名なんですね。でもあまりマスの料理はなくて、マス寿司は僕が大好きだったんで、それを作って販売したい。What is a bento and what does it mean to you? うちのお弁当は駅弁と言って。特殊なお弁当なんですあの夢のあるお弁当を作りたかったですから喜んでいただくために日光を知っていただくために作ったお弁当ですそれが一番ですね This is a sake that they make here in Nikko I believe it's unpasteurized so it needs to stay refrigerated or else it'll spoil which is I think pretty unique And I just learned from Rie that when you pour sake you hold two hands label up teamwork make the dream work で日光埋蔵金弁当っていうのはその埋蔵金を掘り当てるためのお弁当ですからそのおいしい埋蔵金のようにおいしい宝のようなおかずをしゃべるスプーンで食べる。So here we're starting with the hidden gold bento.はい。日光のいいもの彫り物だとか食べ物だとか食材もうみんな真面目に作って宝のような食材を全部集めて作り上げた夢のようなお弁当を作りたかったんです。皆さん他のも欲しいと言われてずっと続く作り続けてきて今18万円。のお弁当があるわけです日光には23人の、えー、と特に熟練した、まあ、いわゆるマスターと言われる堀師がいます日光独特の日光彫りといって伝統工芸という昔からの,あの彫り方が特殊な彫り方がある日光のニコニコ本陣ではうちの駅弁を全て変えます特に日光埋蔵金弁当はの18万円のものは1週間以上前にやはり食材が手に入らないので1週間は欲しいです。I mean, if you look at wrapping paper, this is clearly the superior original version of that. All right, I'm going in. And look at these beautifully engraved chopsticks. I can see the craftsman's mark on the back. All right, you ready for the box? Oof. I love just moving my head around to see how the light changes and hits it. Like, it really has this three dimensionality to it. Do this for a second. You see the that? The box dance. Are you ready for the big reveal? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> so, there's another protective layer. Ooh. Wow. This is the king of bentos. The ingredients here are assembled because they're his favorite foods. Yeah. Tofu skin time. Whoa! You know those、uh, towels that when you pour water on them, they expand and become a full size towel? k i n d of reminds me of that. Normally a one bite thing. <laughs> Is it too juicy? That will happen. It's very juicy. I'm not sure what it's stressed with, but it's, the savoriness is, is heightened. Should we have a mushroom? Should we talk to mushroom? Your favorite. Yeah, because I'm a fun guy.、Mm. Gently marinated mushroom cap. 栃木の栃木和牛
低五ランクのすごく美味しい日本一にもなったことのあるあのヒレのシャトーブリアを使いますで中だけレアにして外側をこんがり焼いてあの日持ちするようにしてあります Now, シャトーブリオンドシャトーブリオンド This steak, I would almost want to say it has no business being in a box. I need to have another、oh. bite. I don't even know what happened to me just now. Don't, don't go too hard with those chopsticks, Steven. There's the inside. I bet I could get a cleaner bite than that. Look at that. Here you are. Literally a marshmallow of meat. Him? Him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, both. Kaskara Kurma Ebi in Japan is a cold food food. 扱われていますそれはエビの甘みだとかうまみが際立っているから、えー、車エビはさっと熱湯に通してファーッと赤くなるまでほんの何秒かなんですけれどもあの熱湯に通しますそこから塩を振って焼き始めます工夫して作ってますけれども全部あの素材の味が一番よくわかるような料理方法しかしていません。Okay. Next up, shrimp. Peel the, the shell. All of its little legs are still here. Oh. Come to me, brawn. Remember when we had to peel the grapes? Eat it again. So sweet. Sweet shrimp meat. And a live moments ago. Let's go for this back row. This is what is in their award winning bento box.、Oh. Is there a particular name for what we're having here? Masu zushi, which is a pressed trout sushi. Uchi no masu zushi wa. 量産できないんです。手作りで一日作るのも二百本ぐらい。すべてお米を研いだり、お魚を漬け込んだり、すべてあの手作りでやっています。Okay. I've never seen sushi like this. Almost like the cars in Japan, all blocky. Wow. Yeah, the flesh is very grapefruit-like. This is not a one biter, I'm sure. I'm doing it. <laughs> no. Like a block of, of trout. Ria shaking her head. And you know what that means. Mm. Mm. It's so tall, it's so satisfying to bite through. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at it. <laughs> it's so satisfying that it's compressed like that. Nikko no Namayuba, you may not this girl no more. Korewa, Honto ni, Tonyu de Tsukta, Saisho no Maku, Angeta to Kinishkata, Tsukure nai, Ano, Namayuba nan this. De, Sono Ue ni, Bogu no Daitsuki na, Kabia. のロシア産のベルーガのキャビア。So here we have tofu skin mounded with caviar and then gilded with a touch of gold. Is it shovel time? Do we bring the shovel back into play here? Here we go. Oh god. Oh sorry, I almost got all of the caviar. We're about to finish a jar of caviar in about two bites here. You got a lot of gold. Yeah, a lot of caviar too. Oh wow. It's such an interesting texture. It looks like you pulled your linen out of the laundry machine too early and it's still glistening with soap. Let's try the caviar. The is really good. Yeah, it's literally bursting with flavor. Last but not least, crab time. Tarabaga ni wa Hokkaido de toretate no mono wo ikita mama ano okutte moraimasu. Shika mo osu no tarabaga ni wo tsukaimasu. Mesu wa tamago toka wo haran de shimau to aji ga kawatte shimau nde. 必ずオスのタラバガニの3キロから4キロのものをそれしか取りませんでそれが取れない場合はあの海が湿けていて取れなかったりした場合はお客様に待っていただきます Did you see this crab when it was alive? Dragon. It is like the closest thing to a prehistoric beast I've ever seen in real life Wow, look at how thick and plump Oh my goodness Itadakimasu You know what's amazing about the crab is that all of its meat is good to go. You take away its shell, and then the rest of it is delicious. Here's where shovel time comes into play. Ready, Annie? Pull this crab meat aside.、Oh. And we struck rice. I'm gonna build one for Annie here. Mm. Mm. I wish you the best of luck. Wow. <sighs> Let's do dessert. This bento box comes with a side of dessert. <gasps> Oh, it's a two layer thing here. Ooh, wow. What? This is like in the office when Jim puts Dwight's staplers、yeah. 
in the in the Jello. <gasps> what is inside? The sweet beans. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. It's like a Oy. bath bomb of flavor. <laughs> this is crazy. Here, you can have the rest of this. Thank you. Mmm. It's so good. Wow. So here we have this. This is mochi wrapped in tea leaf. Smell that. Look at that. Oh, big and juicy. That is, wow, that's incredible. Last but not least, sunflowers. I don't know what's in here. It looks like a cake. This is a sunflower because now we're in summer and they'll change this flower depending on the season. Bento boxes, there's so much more than just food. And I think that is what makes it so beautiful. It's artistry and personality and love. The things that you really cherish, you mm -hmm. place in this box. It's less of a delivery method and more of a hallowed place for it to reside. I miss traveling. <laughs> Me too. I hope we can do more Wall Street Japan episode in the future. Cold season this time. <laughs> yes, please. Spring or fall? What content should we make in Japan next? Eel. Eel. Yes, <laughs> eel. Eel would be great. <laughs> do you think? Yeah, why not? Well, maybe we can do Obsecure like a long animals. <laughs> Worth it, long animals.